<sighs> Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. The topic for this video is mobile DNG workflow on the Canon Kukam AK, this camera, once again. And if you are familiar with my channel, you might have already learned something about the mobile DNG workflow about the Ricoh Theta Z1 and the Kukam 4K. What you could benefit from the mobile DNG workflow of the OneShot 360 camera? Number one, simplicity. Number two, mobile ability. Number three, high quality. Number four, it's free. My name is Yu Guo, a 360 photographer lover who specializes in one shot 360 photography. If you want to start over and master your one shot 360 camera beyond professional, this channel is made for you. With the help of mobile DNG workflow, you could share very high quality photo with your friends or your client directly from your mobile platform. So the mobile DNG workflow is actually very powerful if you could learn something about it. The motivation for me to develop mobile DNG workflow is very simple because I'm not satisfied with the in-camera JPEG format and I'm not satisfied with that imaging quality. I would like to share the best possible imaging quality on any other platform such as the mobile platform. So I establish my own mobile DNG workflow with the Kukam AK and today I would like to share everything I know about it to help you to achieve better results with your Kukam AK. And the key ideas behind the mobile DNG workflow is very simple. So your camera itself is just like a USB mass storage device and your Android phone is just like the PC or the Mac and with different apps you can do the post process and you can even stitch on your mobile platform. And if you connect with your camera and your phone with a cable, now they will work harmoniously together as a mobile powerful computational platform, which could help you generate very high quality photos from the raw DNG photo. If you could understand what I've told you, you could develop your own mobile DNG workflow on any other cameras, not only OneShot 360, but also some other professional cameras. So now let's get to know everything about this mobile DNA workflow of the KuCam AK. The first step is what you need to develop the mobile DNA workflow on the KuCam AK. It's really very simple. First, a KuCam AK. Second is an Android phone or the an Android tablet, which could support OTG socket. The last one is the OTG cable, which every one of the Kukam AK user will have it in the package. And if you're still not satisfied with this setup and you, you want to achieve a better battery charge while in this workflow, you can also purchase the split cable as I have told you in my previous video. And also you can purchase a power bank. So you can now recover uh, a lot of battery life while in this workflow. But to make it simple, in this video, I will show you only with Kukam AK, OTG cable, and my Android phone. So for the hardware the accessories, it's very simple. Next one, I will show you how to connect the Kukam AK with the Android platform to make it work. Now I have assumed that you have already captured lots of DNG or even DNG8 photo with your Kukam AK. The first up, op open up the Kukam AK and uh, switch to the USB mass storage mode, which you can find in USB, USB mass storage, and the fan will stop. On the Android platform, you could uh, connect with the OTG cable, one socket to the Type-C connector, the other one to your Android platform. Your, the Android phone has already recognized the external drive inside the Kukam AK. But before we get started, I would like to share my choice on the apps of the mobile platform. Let's see the one by one. The first one is the Microsoft XFAT driver. If your Android phone natively support XFAT format, uh, you don't have to install this app. In case your camera does not support the Microsoft XFAT format, you could install this one, the Microsoft XFAT for USB by the Paragon software, which could help your Android phone, Android platform support the external XFAT driver. The second one is the Total Commander. This is an excellent designed file management software. The best feature of this software is that it has this one, 
the bookmark, which could help you uh, add some uh, frequently used folders directly in the list so that in your Android platform, you can go back and forth from different folders with only one click, right? It's very easy, and that is the best feature I love about this software. The other one is that the copy and paste speed is very good compared with the native file management software on Android system. The next one is the native gallery app. In case you need to see the result of every step, you can use your native gallery app. And next one is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. This software is exactly the same as the desktop version and with the free version of the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Mobile, I think it is already an excellent software to help you post-process your raw photos inside your Android phone. The last one, of course, is this Cookham app. With the help of the Cookham app, you can stitch your unstitched to fisha image in your Android platform with very high precision. And you can take the advantage of the native secret numbers inside the camera to help you make the best stitch. And only the Cookham engineer knew everything about these secret numbers. And they will help you to stitch the file to a high quality equirectangular panorama directly in the Cookham app. Okay, that is all the apps I recommend for you before get started. So next up, let me show you step-by-step -step workflow about this software, okay? Now let's open the Microsoft XFAT software and you can see the Kukam AK has internal and external storage. And I have shot a lot of TNG8 shot in the in internal storage and I will mount the internal storage to my system. Next one, go to the total file commander and in the Microsoft XFAT and you can find an internal storage about the Kukam AK, right? And in photo folder, you can see lots of photos I've captured with the Kukam AK. Now let's select one of them. You can uh, you can preview with the you can preview with the JPEG file, right? You can see this one I have captured in my YouTube studio at my house, and uh, uh, this one I think is uh, a pretty good. And I'd, I'd like to share this photo as example for you. So in this DNG8 sequence, I will choose one of the DNG shot. We know that the Kunkam AK has 1 slash 1.7 inch. It is a relatively large sensor and the single DNG image quality is already pretty good enough for social network. So to make it simple, I will copy and paste this file, long press and copy to keyboard. Next up is where the total file commander really shines. Go to the bookmark, and you can go directly to the folder I have established inside my uh, Android phone. Here, I would long press and uh, paste here. So you can see the copy and paste speed is really fast. It's much faster compared with the native file management in the Android operating system. And next up is very easy. In the Cookham TNG folder, you can find this folder, you can see that. And uh, you can share directly to the Lightroom add to Lightroom and it will automatically add this DNG shot to Adobe Photoshop Lightroom for further post process. Now back in the Lightroom, you can see in all folders, you can see that this folder, and this is exactly what we have import from the Act Gallery app. And we can do some post process on this image. Click on Auto at first and correct some lighting right, and uh, bring back the highlight, exactly the same as the desktop software. The temperature, I would lower a little bit, make it cool, make the sky looks better than before, right? And you can zoom in and zoom out to see every detail about this photo. And this, cap this photo was captured around two months ago during the, the coronavirus quarantine. And you can see that. And uh, after that, you can add a little bit more vibrance while reduce the saturation a little bit. It's just conventional games with different sliders in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. I think you are already familiar with that uh, if you have uh, subscribed to my channel. Right, and uh, now let's go to the this one. Remove the chromatic aberration and uh, sharp this image a little bit. 
And if you zoom in close, you can see some noise. You can add some noise reduction to this single DNA shot. So the noise reduction for the single DNA shot is really necessary, especially when you shoot at low light. Okay. So now you can see the result is uh, pretty good. Next up, I'm going to export as a JPEG file because the QCAM app only stitched the JPEG image for us. Okay. Click on share and uh, now I have a tip for you to make everything work properly. Okay. Click on export and be careful here. You can add to the more options and remember that you have to include all the metadata, right? especially the camera and camera raw info because the secret stitching numbers inside the JPEG image locate exactly in the metadata area. That is where only the QCAM engineer know exactly the meaning for the stitch parameters. Okay, so include all the metadata and uh, for the color space, if you are uh, if you are share on the internet, so sRGB is a good choice, but if you are phone support wider gamut such as the display p3 or the adobe rgb you can choose the display p3 or adobe rgb as you want okay so in this case i will choose srgb for safety go back and click on ok now the adobe photoshop lightroom will export this image to the folders in in adobe photoshop lightroom but we will go to that folder with only one click in the total file commander. Okay, so wait for a little while after a cup of uh, whiskey. Right, you can see that. You can enjoy a cup of whiskey with ice. Now the photo exports successfully on your Android device. Okay, go back to the total file commander, go to the bookmark, go to the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, and uh, now you can find these photos scroll down and this this is exactly the photo i have already captured okay you can see the, the date and long press and uh, you can cut to clipboard and go to the bookmark and go directly to the the cookham ak folder okay this is here and uh, long press no nope. long press here long press here and uh, paste here but this time to make it work you can disconnect the cable okay because you don't have to use the cookie making anymore because you already have that image uh, inside your android phone now open the cookie app uh, with uh, 2.8.4 and now uh, let's go to the album and you can see the cookie app has already found this image we have post process with our settings and export in the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. To open up directly in the Google app, you can see the final result with very high quality stitch and uh, with everything around you. And you can see a little bit of tripod. And if you could purchase the touch retouch software, you can remove the nadir part with ease. But since this is a free tutorial, so if you would like to go further with nadir patch, you can buy the software touch retouch. Now go to the export, go to the album, and share with the 360 photo. And now the QCAM app will export stitch in the equirectangular format and at the same time add gpanel metadata inside this panorama. So next step, if you want to share with your friends on the Facebook, the Facebook will accept it as an interactive 360 panorama in the website. Okay, click on done. And after a short while, you can see the open album, you will find uh, this interactively in the Google Map. Now you can see this software, okay? Okay, to wrap up, in this video, I have shared with you my personal mobile DNG workflow on the Google Map AK. And I also share with you my motivation and the key ideas behind this mobile DNG workflow. And I hope you could understand why I established this mobile DNG workflow. The reason is that I want to achieve the best possible qualities only with the mobile platform so that every time I will travel around, I don't have to carry a laptop anymore. And I do hope you could establish your own style with your OneShot360 camera and your mobile DNA workflow. I do hope that you could achieve 
better results compared with my approach. That is the reason why I built my YouTube channel to help you grow. And as we know that Kukam AK has exclusively the DNG8 high speed burst mode and the Kendall Raw Plus to help you make raw stacking without ghosting. And in the future, I would like to share with you my mobile DNG8 Raw Plus workflow with you ex exclusively on the Kukam AK. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you like it, please thumb up, subscribe, and hit notification bell. I will see you in my next video. Bye.